Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. Today is the first day back at the house with baby Felicity. And my job these next few days is just to take care of my wife and our newborn baby. Today I'm running into town to run a few errands as fast as I can. So if you want to do some errand running around with me, uh, stick around. Just about my Airbnb house here in Rockwall. I have some guests arriving tomorrow, and I also had some previous guests that may have left an item that I might need to ship to them. So I'm gonna see if I can locate that. I think it was a pillow. But man, this tree, it got uh, blown over by a really, blown over by a really strong storm a few weeks ago, and I'm just looking at it, and it is certainly compromised. I say this all the time, how fortunate I am to be able to keep this house that we bought in 2009. We moved in the day after we got married. And the fact that I did not have to sell this house to move into our new house and, and keep it, even though it's definitely not the same, it's still like the walls that heard so much laughter and uh, the house that we started our family in Anyway, it's very sentimental to me. So the fact that I was fortunate enough to have it and we have it as an Airbnb property now, it, it's a beautiful thing. So my cleaner, he just put this on the inside. I need to put this on the outside. That small things, details, right guys? Details. Leave some soaps and stuff for the guests. So that looks looking good. I got everybody a, TV, a little TV in here. Just excess sleeping quarters, so I have bunk bed there. I have a pull-out bed there. Let me turn off this little lava lamp. One thing I do for all of the guests who stay at my Airbnb is leave them two Tide Pods just to get them started. I can't afford to leave them the whole thing, but at least this gets them through their uh, first night if they forget their uh, laundry detergent if they're staying for an extended time and even use the uh, washer and dryer. So that's, it's the little things. My cleaner through their leftover stuff. I think this is what they're missing over here. Some, some pillows, pillowcases, a charger, t-shirt. How are you? Hey, how are y'all doing today? I just need to deposit these two checks. Okay. Deposit it in your two business account or which account? Can we deposit those into... Had to grab a little Starbucks real quick. But by the way, I totally forgot to tell you what happened yesterday. We were driving home from the hospital and something... Let me just let my manager, Terry, explain it. Exactly what happened. I believe... From what I've heard is that she had a wine bottle in her hand, she dropped it, and then slipped on the wine bottle, or the, or the, or the wine, and then cut herself severely. She cut herself very badly. But it just required so a few stitches though, her. right? Uh, she's not sure it's how many stitches, but she, she did damage um, a vein, is what the doctor said. I talked to her today. She the doctor said that she did damage the vein because she lost six quarts, six, six units of blood. I don't want to be stupid about this. Six units of blood? Something like that. that. She said. Yeah. Six quarts of blood or so, six pints? Yeah. So the moral of the story, the moral of the story is don't skip out on workers' comp insurance if you're a business owner. I have been in the business for 10 years and I never had it until about three years ago. And I've never had anything happen until this situation happened. And I'll try to add some pictures of what I found on the surveillance cameras. And they could have been 100 times worse. Thankfully, it was just stitches and she is okay. <laughs> to think that I was driving home from the hospital and she was being rushed to the hospital. Ah, <sighs> crazy. Di qualità, di qualità, 
just me or do errands always seem to take longer than anticipated? I am burning daylight trying to get back to Holly. How's been tonight? It's very good. Are you it's busy? Actually, it started getting a little bit busier, but not too much. It's, kind of, it's still kind of slow. I think, it, I think the pop's gonna happen around like seven, hopefully. Good, how are you? How's it been so far today? Good, pretty steady. It's picking up now. You making our uh, world famous baklava cheesecake world over here? World famous baklava cheesecake. That's it, that's it. Hey, where's your helper at tonight? Huh? Who's helping you tonight? Oh, Julian. Well, you know when I'm back. Bye guys, see y'all soon. Yes, sir. Bye. Just made Holly some fresh bruschetta, tomatoes, mozzarella, basil, garlic. I am having some chicken broth for dinner tonight because I I'm trying to cut back on some calories. Okay, I think this is where the vlog ends. Spend the rest of the night with uh, Holly and Ava. <laughs> Holly and Felicity, because Ava was my last baby and Felicity's my new baby. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers.